out here on a camping trip, hiking trip with my nephew and my son, Corey. And Corey just learned a very valuable lesson. All of your gear goes inside your pack. And what happened was, Corey, he's looking at the camera. He says, oh boy, I can't believe Dad's going to put this on YouTube. What happened was, Corey, hang on, Corey. Are you really going to put this on YouTube? Yeah. Well, Corey, where'd you have your water bottle at? Right there. Hang on. Right there. Yeah. Corey had his water bottle stuffed inside of there, like a big liter water bottle. There's Hunter, my nephew. Man, I miss my water. Yeah, and Corey lost his water bottle because it fell out of this pouch. I got something to do. And this is old logging road. This isn't a county maintained road. This is a, just a temporary load that the timber company uses to get in here and get these trees. We've been on the trail now for about an hour and a half. And we come across this old road. We decided to take it, get out of all the trees. Just imagine it as a big hiking trail. It's not maintained or anything. There's no, it's not paved. What? Camera. What, Hunter? So let me see the camera. No, my camera. Okay. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, Hunter put the pump between his legs to help hold it steady and he pinched the intake hose off. This is a Katadin, however you pronounce it, Hiker water filter. It's like the second time this thing's been used. And for some reason, it quit working. I don't know what the deal is. Filter's a little bit dirty, but we've been pumping creek out of this Corey turned down and show the creek. It's got a little bit of trash in there. It's got a little, looks like a little stainless steel filter. Has a, where's your uh, pre-filter? Pre-filter at, that little stainless steel pre-filter. Put it back on there. The creek's been too shallow, almost too shallow to even use a pre-filter been having to hold it down, hold the end of the tube down into the water. I don't know if that's what caused it or not. What we've done is we've taken an old pure water purifier, same housing as the Cadet. And... All right, now go ahead and put the hose in there, Hunter. Hang on, Corey. Sucking air. Right, go ahead. And that pure housing and pump is probably about 10 years old. It's been through all kinds of stuff. And it's still going strong. And the Cadet that's in that bag right now, that's only the second time we've used it. Second hiking trip and it's messed up. Have to get home and wash it out. I don't know what happened. I think maybe some sand got up inside the pump. What's that lie down in it? Uh, no, it shouldn't. If That's why you've washed it out. Okay. Alright. Now, Corey, take your swig of that water. See if it's got an iodine taste to it. Because that housing had that old iodine filter in it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Hunter, go ahead and get Corey's stuff put up. Corey, I'm just going to trade you them housings, okay? So, well, I was planning on using your filter the most anyway. So, you just keep my housing for now. Whenever we get back home, we'll... Yeah, we'll, we'll take yours and clean it out real good. See if we can figure out what's going on.